to sincerely welcome you. Time will fill us to recognize. We have not come to mourn, but to celebrate a great leader. Our late father, Ruben, was a phenomenon. To the glory of God, he was a devoted husband. Great father, astounding businessman, a common philanthropist. Because in life, you are things to be remembered for. Not the money that you have acquired, not the education you have acquired, but the people you have been able to impart on. I am convinced that Chief Elibunu has lived a very good life. And I know it will be a better place as we follow up in these two steps. If all of us today have the kind of kind heart, I'll be sure to talk about the kind heart and goodness. The question is, what will you be remembered for? I always use that word. What will you be remembered for? Who was a politician? What life have you touched? Today we are here today, as you can see the crowd, but because of the people he has impacted on. Today we are here today to support our leader because he has also raised us. The word of God in Proverbs 10 7 stated with clarity that the memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot to continue to do good to be kind to people once again I commiserate with our mommy it is not easy for somebody that you have been with for almost 60 years departing from you that bond is already there and also the children, no matter how old Papa is, 88 years, yes. But we still feel him, we still remember him. The take home from here, we emulate the good part of his life. I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, out of heaven, prepared From Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 1. A good name is better than precious ointment, and the day of death than the day of one's birth. It's to say that this community, the entire world kingdom, and the Kalan, has witnessed the departure of an icon. A man that made impact. I cannot see people of God in late by Ignatius in Rivuel, a man of great academia. I couldn't see that in him. But I see him as a man who made many educationists and learned men and women in the society today, though not very much educated. Again, I cannot see in late by Ignatius a man of probably 
great politics of power, nor of a traditional leadership heritage. But yet, a community tree where many have come to pluck great fruits and continue to live by it. I cannot see in my Ignatius a man of great spirituality, but yet he raised a host of godly men and women who point at him as a role model. Some of us can